the first time the XFL really didn't do much at all, it was maybe on for about a month or two, maybe a year. I'm not really for sure how long it was on. I know it wasn't on that long because I really didn't hear nothing else after WrestleMania 17 about it. And Vince McMahon, he owned the XFL at the time, which don't get me wrong. I love Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon, whatever he puts his hands on, it's gold. Uh, whatever he touches, it's gold. Like, there's nothing that that man cannot create in it to work. There's a few things that he's put his hands on and it's not worked. For example, the new ECW from 2006 to, well, the new ECW from June 13th of 2006 to February the 10th, I believe, of 2020, uh, 2010, rather. It had great moments. It had some very good moments, very bad moments. Overall, the new ECW, to me, if they would have just let Paul Heyman have control over it, or even Shane McMahon have control over it. It would have been a lot better. But Vince, I it's not that Vince doesn't understand wrestling, but the brand of ECW on how it is. There's some promotions that you can do that are great, like WWE Vince can do. Some like ECW. To me, Paul Heyman should have had that. But as soon as Paul Heyman left, you really think things go downhill from there. Once Paul Heyman left the new ECW, he did not return at all to the new ECW at all. I don't blame Paul Heyman on that one. So for the XFL to fail the first time, it was pretty bad. But now Dwayne DeRock Johnson has the XFL in full control. Now, how will the XFL succeed? And will the XFL do great things? I believe the XFL will do great things. We shall see how the XFL is going to succeed. But with the Wayne DeRock Johnson having the XFL now, I hope it lasts longer than a month in a year, first of all. But where the Rock's a former football player, he understands on how football works and everything. And basically the XFL, for those of y'all that don't know, is the minor leagues to the NFL. So I'm looking forward to seeing the talent at the XFL. And we'll see how it goes from here on out in the XFL.